Hey everybody, welcome back to Game Nerds Live. I'm Joey and I'm joined here with Rosa. Hey everybody, I'm finally back. I she, escaped. She's our resident expert painter. Yay. Do you want to tell the people about yourself? Oh, um, hi, I'm Rosa. <laughs> I work primarily in the warehouse. I'm a packer, picker. I do everything I can to make sure your stuff gets to you safe and sound. <laughs> Today, Rosa is going to be teaching me how to paint. And the figures that we're going to be painting today are the two monsters from Unmatched Tales to Amaze. We got Mothman and we got the UFO. So what are we what are you gonna be teaching me today? Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna try to get both of these done. Um, we're gonna open with the UFO and okay. then we'll close with Mothman. Awesome. She pre-primed uh, Mothman, so he's ready to go. But we're, she's going to teach me to prime with the UFO because it has not been primed just yet. <laughs> there we go. Okay, if I hold it like right here, it's good. All right. Yeah, I started. I primed it with. I just want to show. Like, yeah. I don't know if I could show everybody, but if it'll show up, I'm bad at this. Oh no. I, I, mean, I, I <laughs> go to the center of the camera. This is so yeah. bad. It's um, Citadel's uh, Mechanica Standard Gray, which I think is everybody's. Big time favorite. Rosa, your shirt is so thematically. Hey, look, it's yeah, Mothman. Gotta, look. Team, Team Mothman. Mothman, even though it has a UFO on it. And the Mothman. I Looks like the UFO's, Mothman. UFO's winning because the Mothman's getting. Or Mothman goes in there and mess them up. That's yeah, true. Yeah, Mothman intentionally was to, like, I'm vulnerable. To be determined, for sure. Yeah. Don't abduct me. Just kidding. You're mine now. <laughs> All right. So show me what we're going to do. Let's let's see what. Wait. Um, gosh. Yeah. So we have, we'll leave Mothman chilling here. Um, if we want to start with the UFO. Okay. It looks like these come off the little. Yeah, the base. Mm -hmm. That helps. We're going to leave that off for the moment. All right. And uh, just so we don't get paint on it that we don't necessarily need. Okay. Um, okay. So this is just a plain UFO. We haven't primed it yet. There's nothing on it. Um, we can grab some paint and work on that. All right. It should go pretty quick because it's a very simple mini. It doesn't have a lot of crevices and cracks and stuff. So, all right. So we have, we go into the, in there? Which which brush do I use? Okay, so I'm gonna grab this brush really quick just okay. to dump some in our um, handy dandy pot. Okay. That's oh. what this fidget toy is for. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Can you show us on the, on the yeah. top down so we can see? What do you hey, use? Hey, there we go. It's a little poppy thingy. So you use this as a paint. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Apparently, it was like on TikTok or something. I'd be so scared to like accidentally pop one that has some paint in it and it flies everywhere. <laughs> I'd be scared I, of that for you too. Yeah, that's going to happen, I feel. I've totally done Watch it. Watch out for our lens. Has that happen? Does, can that happen? Or? It does. Okay. Good to know. Stay Look at tuned. That. <laughs> like, pop it up. Okay. All right. Oh, man. I'm just going to scoop some out really quick. Okay. Nothing fancy. Just. Drop that in there. Um, all right. Do you need so, to shake the paint before you use it? I shook it up a bunch with okay. my anxiety before I got here. Got so, it. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Let's get that cleaned off a little bit. Um, okay. So this is our <clears throat> primer. And we. I don't like to put paint straight onto the mini okay. at any stage when I'm painting because it's typically just really thick. And right. if you put it right on, it's gonna show up as like clumpy and gross and not smooth the way you would hope your mini would look. Mm -hmm. So um, I like to thin my stuff out with either water or medium. And um, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Water's the most accessible of the two. Um, but if I were to use medium, I like Citadel's. Um, what is medium? What is that? It's um, basically it's this is is paint minus the color. Okay. And it lets you control like how how much I don't know paint per million there is in a right. solution. It's like you can control how thick or thin it goes onto the mini. Okay. And gives you a smoother result the thinner it is generally. All right. So, but you know we don't have to be crazy about it. We can actually take some water. And some people get really technical about it. They'll do like, ah, I use four parts medium to one part paint. You absolutely can. That's totally valid. Add. I don't want to add too much. You add it to the paint itself? If I'm feeling feisty, okay. sure. <laughs> I'll mix that up. 
So, and in fact, I may give you this brush because it covers more square area quickly. All right, so I'll have you take this one. Oh, okay. And I'll just go ahead and bring this up. Actually, these are one of my favorite brushes that we sell at Game Nerds. It's D&D's Prismatic Paint brushes, and this is their multi-purpose brush, and it's, it's Jeff's Kiss. Works really well. Awesome. All right. So you got so your start going? brush loaded up. And I'm yeah, scared. now you start going. All right, don't be scared. Go. It's okay. Joey, whenever you paint, can you hold out just a little yeah, bit? So yeah, we can, yeah, sure. yeah. There we go. Lean out. Yeah, there you go. The best part about priming is you don't have to be pretty about it. Really? You can just slap it on Check. there. <laughs> <laughs> Make it all nice. Let's see. I guess I should move my hands up. Huh? Yeah. Oh, hey. There we go. <laughs> Get that gray. Who do you think is going to be more covered in paint by the end of this? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> like a kid in oh art class. Gosh. Do I got to be careful around here? Yeah, right around there. Oops. I mean, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> I've said that many a time about painting. Uh, but yeah, sometimes people use like masking tape or putty or whatever and block off areas that they don't oh, want okay. to get paint on. And whatever floats your boat, whatever you're comfy with. Uh, will a water palette help with clumping? What it's on screen there too. I mean, I imagine if you if you could get a good sense of proportion, like water to paint. I don't see why not. Yeah, that could definitely help. That's a really good idea. I've never even like thought of doing that. So thanks, <laughs> free tip. <laughs> Absolutely. It's just a matter of how thick. I'm doing a good job. I think you're doing an amazing job. Look at that. It's beautiful. I was joking, and now you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> You've done amazing. It looks fantastic. Basically, you just want to get the general, the whole area just, like, covered in a layer. And um, that way, the paint that you put on later has something to adhere to okay. or stick to. Kind of like when you're painting a house and stuff. Can't How often just... should I go back and get more paint? Um, whenever you move on to the next blank spot. Okay. But once you've got like a full layer on, that's really all you need for that, for primer. Um, it's only when you start moving up to other layers that you want to really thin it out and go slow. So okay. take your time with it. Wait for each layer to dry, which is the hardest part because I'm impatient. <laughs> Same. I forgot about the fact that they're like disc shaped. Oh, we need like holders. Right. For the like, cup holders or something. How are you feeling, Joey? Pretty therapeutic. I like this. This is nice. It's I've been coming. wanting to learn how to paint for a while. So this is like really coming together here. Oh, well, that's awesome. Remember I was asking you about what I need to get to, to start? I was wanting to learn. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Well, you you that's, that makes me happy. I'm glad we got to do this then. I honestly, like, disclaimer, you guys are nice to call me expert painter, but I'm not. I am at best a hobbyist. Like, this is just something that I like to do in my free time. It calms me down. It makes me happy. Yours looks is mine amazing. Too, mine's too much, right? No, Am I doing too much? You're good. Okay. You're good. You've got a nice even coating on there and it's, we're calling that primed. Okay. And um, that's, you've done an amazing job. I, that, that's why I gave you the bigger brushes. I was like, I know that you'll be able to cover more square footage yeah. quickly. At, at what point do I say, okay, I'm done with priming? You can call it now. Really? Yeah. We you, have a, you've a done amazing. Yeah. Does Rosa also paint canvas? If so, will she do a video series similar to Bob Ross for Game Nerds? <laughs> Instead of happy trees, she can paint nerdy characters. She we could get something to hang up right Bob there. Ross. On God, I almost dressed up as Bob Ross today. <laughs> I was like, how do I pull this off? I want to do that so badly. Oh my gosh. Yes, write it in like to anyone you know. That's exactly what I want to do. Oh um, <laughs> man. We need some artwork, yeah. We need some art. Yeah, we do. I mean, that would be so cool. I actually, my primary art medium, I guess, is paper. I'm a paper artist by not trade. I taught myself, I guess, but I do like painting, and I didn't think I would have the capacity to do mini painting. It was only because the pandemic meant nobody was doing anything, and I was like, okay, I gotta keep my hands busy and. This looked like fun. So, and it's just kind of an extension of what I was doing. So, why not? And it's soothing and calming. So, but that, yeah, as for that comment, absolutely anyone can do this. There's, it's, there's no right or wrong way to do it. 
it's Except just for the way Joey's doing it. That's wrong. That looks right, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> that looks beautiful. Look how clean that looks. <laughs> that is <laughs> the looks dichotomy between immaculate. the two. Rose is so calm and oh, like oh. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention now, Joey. We're painting. <laughs> All right. You got some on your chin, Joey. <laughs> you know what else I would love to hang up around here is if we like had people send in like um, fan art. Fan art, yeah, that would be cool. Draw some funny pictures of the gang. Oh my gosh, and stuff. I love that. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty funny. Make like, memes or something. Yeah, Joey Milk. Joey, yeah, draw a portrait of Joey Milk. Flan Flan fan. Fan. Yeah. Oh, somebody could draw like out. The you know. Yeah. Oh, or like a welcome sign for Flan Ball. Sour Man. Oh my gosh. Sour, Sour, Sour Man. Sour yes. Man. Get in there. Oh my gosh. I would love that. Please do it. <laughs> I'll frame it. <laughs> All right. Well, yours is beautiful. So am I, am I going too much? Like you, You've done perfectly, and you can set it wherever. Joe's got 12 layers Where do I of put primer it? I have, on dude, It looks so smooth, though. It does. It looks yeah. really good. The future Shut is up. now. No, it does. <laughs> It looks really creamy. Dude, Joey, it looks really good, Joey. <laughs> now you got <laughs> I don't know where we'll to put it without touching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll put it right there. As soon as you leave, we'll throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to, like, not touch it right now. Right. That's how did you the, do that? How did you set it down? I let it hover. Um, you get a, you're going to get have, a little paint on your fingers. It's all right. Just oh, I have infant-sized fingers, <gasps> and oh. I didn't realize that Dude, this... you can put a little Martian inside there. Yeah. That comes out. That's cool. So I guess he comes off. Oh, so you can be a little less careful, huh? You, you could put, like a, like, a Martian in there, for Honestly, sure. Honestly, yeah. Or a little put LED little light. And... Oh, that would be so cool. Man. We got a nice callback. I call this portrait Beautiful Man. Oh, yeah. that is a nice. Yeah, yeah. Like Joey that. picking up a chicken sandwich at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. A fully painted. yes, chicken <laughs> sandwich sculpture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, All right so I put it to, I put it to the side. That looks great. That is beautiful. Ooh, I need to stop playing with it, Joey. <laughs> okay, I, I started spitting it. And, okay. Uh, well, that will dry while we pivot. Pivot <laughs> to Mothman. <laughs> pivot. Pivot. Mothman. And um, let's see. So. For Mothman, I really wanted to use... Should we put primer on those little dots? Because those are red, I think. We can, absolutely. Okay. The wings are kind of a semi-translucent. And yeah. the Here, wings actually Joey. came like already... They weren't pre-primed, but they had kind of like some shadow work painted onto them a little bit, like in the crevices. And so I was like, okay, I don't want to completely hide that because that can give you like automatic contrast mm -hmm. as you paint the mini, which is always a perk right but the wings you know things get a little different when you mess with translucent stuff so, so we should leave them alone if it's a yes. matter of if you want okay. your wings opaque or translucent so okay all right yeah but for now i mean we can leave them alone it's i bet we could make like a little decal for those little red those absolutely little red spots. you know like okay. luna moths like they mm -hmm. have those really pretty wings yeah like, i saw someone paint their mothman that way really? it just looked like a little that would be cool that would actually be cool it's beautiful so yeah there's no wrong way to do it okay whatever makes you happy but what's this you got here okay so this is the uh army painter speed paint that we sell um i think it's speed paint 2.0 but uh th it's like a giant set it's amazing um i is want this? all of it or no this is an extension of that. Oh, um, okay. It is a paint expansion, if you will. This is our <laughs> Metallics 2.0. It is so sweet. Yeah, there should be a link so down awesome. in, the com in the chat here. Just, just linking. Can I shake one? Because that looked fun. Yeah, absolutely. It's good ASMR. That's probably enough, right? Yeah, it's probably <laughs> enough. <laughs> you want to do the other one? Yes. <laughs> it's got to be equal. That's nice. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. That's, fun. That's a blast. <laughs> oh, so this is, I mean, I'm honestly kind of making assumptions here. I don't know. What color would you like your Mothman to be? So I would like him to be like traditional, but maybe have like some purple highlights or something. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. I think that would be cool. Okay. So the fur, because Mothman kind of has like a fur coat. Yeah. Do you want all of that to be purple or do you want it to be black with like so the like he's like mostly black, but like the purple will be highlighted or something. The, yeah, 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 I like it. I like how I you think. Think that'd be cool, right, chat? Absolutely. Well, let's see here. Um, nothing like a little. When in doubt, mix them, because if you have colors, you can make anything happen. If we want straight purple, I think that's 
in the box I left outside. Okay. But <laughs> at any rate, we still have other colors. Sure. I mean, red and blue make purple. You know, that's, that's true. You definitely don't have to own every color. Every single color. Absolutely. The, the very basics of painting is if you have the rainbow, you can make everything in it, you know? So, oh yeah, we got some more paints. Awesome. There we go. Oh my gosh. We this have is a whole a huge library box. of, the, this is the big box. I was, well, oh. it's like the medium box, honestly. Oh, 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 it's, wow, it's, it's deceptively heavy. I want one of these. Whoa, oh, layers and layers. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah. And there's ways so there's more even lower than that. Yeah. So, okay, I know I asked you this like um, over chat a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to ask you here so you, maybe we can we can tell people. Yeah. If I want to start off and just really get into painting, what should I buy? Honestly, the Army Painter is fantastic for that. Like if you are brand new to painting and you don't want to sink a ton of money into your newest hyperfixation, um, Army Painter is fabulous for that it's a great starting place they have you know a great line of basic paints all the colors you could possibly want mm -hmm. um their brushes are reliable and i would say yeah we we sell like a basic starter set of army painter paints and then it kind of we have like different types of set like skin tones or metallics or whatever but that's a great place to start awesome yeah and get build up from there you know i'm definitely going to do some of that I'm, I'm, I'm definitely planning on, on that one of the reasons a is because i have all these minis now buying all these like board games and then also like i really like action figures and i want to paint them and nice. make them look cool and nice. and better and improve them and stuff like that very cool i'm a mini hoarder myself really? i just have like minis on minis in my office and don't actually paint them so <laughs> i'll get around to it eventually <laughs> All right, so we have, okay. there should be a purple, but All right. in there, I honestly wasn't sure we were going to do purple or not. Is but if one? you like something. Purple Swarm. Purple We've got swarm Moody Moi. Cool, Ooh, Moody Moi. What's that? Sounds like a drink. Purple Swarm sounds like something the Mothman would, it's like I a like, power. I like dark purple. You like dark purple? I do. Yeah. And then Ooh. we've got Periwinkle Purple. Ooh, this is tough. This is like. What do we choose, chat? Oh, yeah, what do we choose? I, I think I like purple swarm. Yeah, Ooh, like royal it. robes. Gorgeous. I'm thinking purple swarm. That's like <laughs> it's royal like a right robes. in the middle. Right um, in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like it because it has like that reddish, a little like the or uh, it has like kind of like a um, almost like a reddish hue to yeah. it. Yeah, it's like, it's a nice like in between point. Yeah, there's yeah. this old Misfits T-shirt that I like, and it's got this very specific purple on it and I, I I steal it and I use it a lot for a lot of stuff Absolutely. when I'm doing graphic design. <laughs> well, we've got, you want that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Here you go, I know you seem to like yeah. it. There we go. All right. <laughs> we've got one vote for Periwinkle out. and one vote for Swarm. <laughs> oh, okay. Caesar, oh. see, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! What happened? This, Nothing. This, <laughs> this is the endless struggle that every painter will have. We've got enough purple out. Wow. Seabard says, I've got, whoa, I missed it. Something about blood, blood, um, Bloodborne. Oh, yeah. A whole box of Bloodborne uh, and a million Hero Quest minis to paint. So can we get this back in the bottom? Swarm. Bottle? Swarm is oh, the one. <laughs> can we, like, suck it up? Oh, I just did more. Oh, God. You Honestly, need like, it's, it's not critical. I mean, it's, I can... It's okay. I we could leave it fine. as is. I mean, right. it'll need a lot of paint anyway. So Oops. All it's right. okay. It's, it happens all the time. I do it. I mean, with some paints, I will be the one that scoops it back in yeah. somehow. But it's it's all right. In fact, it's a great example of anything can happen, and it's okay. <laughs> so no. we're starting. Do we start with black? <laughs> we are going to honestly, because you. It sounds like you really like the the purple. Well, I want it to be like the highlight, right? It's just the highlight. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can take some grim black here. <laughs> Find some space on the board. Not oh, gonna don't pop off. I'm not gonna squeeze so hard this time. All right. A swarm like oh. oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. We're Did, did I not shake it enough? Did Pat? you shake it too so, much? So so far Rosa has more paint on her than I have, so That's the goal. You That's guys just didn't believe in me for being clean here. Oh, man. Um, wow. I'm so sorry you all had to see that, but 
It's okay. It's okay. That's we need it, right? <laughs> classic. <laughs> we need it. Travis, classic, <laughs> classic oh, painting well, situation. We sell a lot, well, we've so got, just buy some more. I guess, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. there's endless supply. This I have the more hope with is the speed paint medium. Okay. This is like what Lamian medium is to Citadel paint. This is that. Okay. And it's just, it's specially formulated for the speed paints. The speed paints are kind of unique because. <laughs> As you look at it on the label, on um, a speed paint label, you see three colors, and basically that tells you if it's this is its like main color, right. this is its shadow, this is its highlight. Oh, uh, I see. That makes sense. But yeah, so with speed paint, um, it gives you three colors on the label, and it's generally meant to be like this is your primary, like that's generally how it's going to show up on a primed mini. And your shadows are this darker hue. Your highlights will likely be this lighter hue. And speed paint is unique because it's meant to be one and done. You prime your mini, you throw down some speed paint, and all of the detail work is done. I don't know how they did it. Some nerd figured it out. Some, <laughs> some egghead. <laughs> some, <laughs> some poindexter out there. And we are grateful to them for that. So if we want to thin anything out... Definitely just use like the Can speed I do paint it? medium. Yeah. Oh. Because if, if, if it messes up, I wanna, I'll be the one to get in trouble. Just find an empty. <sighs> I'm scared. How much do I put in there? Oh, you can definitely stop. You're good. Oh, I'm good? Okay. You're fully good. A little bit more? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. We call that happy accidents, right, oh, yeah, crew? Accidents. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay. So, because we have. Ooh. So much paint to work with. Yes. I'm gonna take my pipette. Am I it, should I have like rinsed this off? Yeah, absolutely. Oops. Good, good brush uh, maintenance there. So if you thought pipettes were only for ninth grade biology, you thought wrong. This is how I grow my sea monkeys. <laughs> it's you, know, you get them, you get them, and you put them in like a. You know what I'm talking about? Love it. Amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so which brush am I going to do next? Yeah. Is Mr. Rogers feeding his uh, sea or goldfish? Except there's but Joey it's Joey fishing his sea monkeys. Make it happen. <laughs> which brush do I use this time? I'm going to take this one just to mix this up together. Oh, okay, all right. There's no right or wrong way to use brushes. I think a lot of people would argue that. Like, they would. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry that people don't want to go crazy with how they use their brushes. They very much stick to, ah, oh, this brush is for this, this brush is for that. And that's absolutely valid, especially if you want to like maintain the quality of your brushes. brushes. But like if you're me, I was an absolute goblin. I, anything, anywhere, it's, yeah, I, I don't, I, I just clean them. That's really it. Just clean your brushes and, and everything goes. So no right or wrong answer there either. Some of this paint is flinging around. Yeah. I'm, Be uh, careful. I wore my best plain black tee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it won't show up. Oh, my goodness. I should have brought, like, a little um, apron for you. Oh, that would have been so cute. Oh. We can go, we can go down to Red Lobster and get him a bib. Huh? We can go down to Red Lobster and get you a bib. <laughs> yeah. Give me a bib. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, let's see. Now we can start painting. I bet you are very excited for this. All right. Okay. So we had that set of three. Right. Which and one? Um, so it, if you look on the brushes themselves, uh -huh. they should have numbers and description. All right. And the closer to zero you get, the tinier the brush oh, bristles okay. will be. Ooh, <laughs> there's the real challenge. There you go. <laughs> He's determined to make this work. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> it's okay. What? what <laughs> I just knocked over my moth mane. <laughs> moth mane? Yeah. <laughs> so UFO wins by default. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what I will have you do is we're going to use the number one, the multi-purpose brush. Right. Mine doesn't have an... Oh, there's the number. I see. Yeah. Okay. As the name suggests... It's multi-purpose. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Okay. So down here, <laughs> down here, is where I mixed the speed paint medium All right. and the speed paint itself. So this black, <laughs> uh, I think it was. So we're not using this at all. <laughs> nope, that's what we're drawing from. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, we'll right. pull from it as we use up more paint. Um, okay. So yep, you don't want to soak uh, the paintbrush in the paint. You don't want it to go up to the ferrule like. 
Oops. With the middle. It's okay. okay. <laughs> I've already messed it up too. It's okay. My hands have been so shaky today. But yeah, you just really want to um, saturate like the tip there okay. of the brush. And let's see. And we just go in? We just go in. Wherever right. you want to start, pick a direction that you want to paint in and kind of stick to that. If you're right. like, if you're painting his well-built moth chest. You can... Dude, it's rich. It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Just kidding. Hashtag moth chest. Yeah. So, like, I want to go down, so I'm going to stay in that downward motion. That way, like, generally you don't want streaking, but you're more likely to minimize it if you keep going in one direction. Sure. I see what you mean. Yeah. Are we are we painting his him completely black and then like including his eyes? Oh oh um I would leave his eyeballs um we'll leave them red. Okay. I know I got a little bit of primer on it, but that's okay because we're gonna go back over it. Okay. So we can really bring out the red. Um. So I had a question. What does primer actually do? It is that <laughs> first layer that you throw onto something that allows all the other paint to stick to it. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Is it like extra sticky or something? Extra wood? Is it like extra sticky? Oh, no, no. And in fact, generally, you don't really want it to be. But I guess it's just more from like a, like, I don't know, like a texture standpoint for mm -hmm. not so much stickiness as just it gives the paint grip. So not meant to be like glue or anything. You don't want it gloppy. But it gives all the other paint something to cling to. Gotcha. Yeah. It's so easy to like get into the flow of it. And you just find yourself like, oh, suddenly You're laughing it's, at me over there? Yeah. yeah. It's like been 12 hours suddenly and you've got an army. Dude, my Mothland looks good. Let me see, Joe. Show, show us. It, Look at There's that. like nothing to show yet, but... Well, how's it, how's it? it just looks good from... I can tell. Intense. <laughs> so crazy. I love it. Do you think Mothman would win, though? No. Not against aliens. Ooh. Um, why do they call them speed paints? Oh, truly just because the goal is to eliminate the need of having to go find your contrasts, find, you know, what you need for shadow work and highlighting. It It's meant to kind of remove all of that from the process because, I mean, like for large armies, say if you're a Warhammer fan, you have so many little guys to paint. That's a lot of time right there. And it's very easy to get lost in that process and then never wind up with a full painted army. So with the speed paint, you can line the guys up. We have a little holder that I think, I think Citadel makes it that we sell, but you can like prop up a bunch of minis, spray them down with primer, and then hmm. that's all ready to go. And you've got like 12 guys waiting and then you can just slap on some speed paint and it already looks magnificent. Like you don't have yeah. to go in and be like, I need to get the glint off of his helmet just right. You know, it just mm -hmm. kind of, builds that in for free so it's just really handy and good for live streams should i paint the base too you can if you <coughs> want um it, you absolutely can you can pick any color for that that's totally oh okay your call Ooh, um, red would be cool if you want i was thinking of for the ufo later if we have like a big disc that we could situate oh, no. on i just splattered paint on his wings oh that's okay it if is. you know you did it recently you can grab another brush, fill it up or load it up with water and dab at the paint splatter. Did that help a little bit? If to it, get it off of there? If it yeah. happened a while back, it may have dried and then... And now I'm screwed. Got to whip out the... <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. No. I'm just kidding. Can you imagine just like a really horrible, like angry, aggressive Bob Ross? May he rest in peace. <laughs> Should, oh yeah, I see some splatters that I got on there earlier. Oh, mine is, I'm fully flinging Are you? Paint. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, he's starting to actually stay black. I'm really good at this. You are, see? It's just one of those things, you just not lean really. into I'm it. Not really, I was just joking. Looking good. And honestly, I like this setup that we have. I wish, I wish everyone could have access to big bright lights for painting their minis. Um, People will build their own setups where they have, like, gosh, LED strips that they've really like strapped over the desk. And, and all they need is a softbox. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. We'll do there it. You go. Yeah. 
Well, you don't need all them LEDs. Yeah. And Joey, where can they get a soft box? Oh, not Game Nerds. Oh, you can't get one at Game Nerds. Oh, okay, never mind. But you can get them on. We just are always yeah. like, hey, where can, and Joey, where can you get that? At GameNerds.com. Well, not that one. Not that particular item. She can get a soft box. Soft box? A cardboard box that's a game that's not as hard as another one. A soft box. <laughs> a soft box. No. Rosa, let's see yours. Can you hold up yours Ooh, so man. we can see the progress you've made? Gosh, I'm kind of Can you can you hold it doing up a, a little bit? a panic job over here. It's not. Let's uh, see. There you go. There you go. There you go. So I know it may be a little difficult to tell without um, extra color on it right now. Yeah. But from where I'm standing, I can see like the paint and the way the light hits the paint. It's, you know, it's definitely falling into the crevices, making those shadows darker. Mm -hmm. Even with the black paint, you can kind of tell like, oh, the closer to like the top of a mini instead of in a crevice, it looks lighter. So like already the highlight is the highlighting effect is kicking in. So when we go over with purple, it should really jump. I may go over it with something first before we throw down the purple just to be mm -hmm. extra safe, but there's no wrong way to do it. These little areas between the wings are hard to get to. <coughs> yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely a lot of crevices. For mm -hmm. many... No, I'm not complaining. So I have a little trick that I use for... If you ever need help getting the brush into it, yeah, you can hold your brush at the end, like this. Oh, it's a little trickier. Yeah. But oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. Instead of your hand being up into the crevice, you can kind of just let the brush do the work itself. It's important for me to express those little hiccups so I can learn. Absolutely. They're making fun of me over there, chat. Oh. Your stash are like when you're painting, it can mm -hmm. be very easy to crumple up like, oh, like this. this. It's so easy to just suddenly find yourself tense. So if you want, just take a breather. You don't even have to paint. Just, <gasps> oh my goodness. And take a breath, go take a walk, you know, stretch, oh, I whatever. I have, yeah. I'm going to persevere here. Self-care is super important while painting. I'm terrible at remembering it. Sometimes I have to set a timer on my phone. But it's just good for you look at that that's not bad pretty. right flies to that's pretty nice yours. i want to see yeah yours. let's see let's oh see hers. Yeah, show, here, show oh yeah that's, i guess it's kind of tough to see here you just hold it right here thank you oh a little bit lighter <laughs> hand a little bit less heavy-handed for sure her yeah there's yeah awesome mine is but like yeah, you're looking great look this at looks that. good looks good not bad y'all yeah. doubted me nah i am an artiste you did beautifully. <laughs> you are a quick study. And honestly, that is exactly the point of speed paints is you should be able to, at any skill level, throw some speed paint down and come away with something that looks it's like a good painted mini. You could use it in a game. And the best part is, and I think a lot of people forget this, I know I do, is you're playing a game and the mini is out on a board and the board is sitting how many feet away from your face? Mm -hmm. And when it's far away like that, the details, like the things that you're worrying about up close, kind of stop mattering because they right. fade, you know, because it's mm -hmm. so far away from you. And it just, with the blending that kind of happens as stuff moves away from you, it's, it just creates a really cool effect and nobody's gonna see that oops that you're stressing out about, which mm -hmm. I absolutely do. But you still get a really cool mini in the end. And that's why I think it's, it's just such a fun, hobby like i fully support anyone wanting to get into this yeah because it's i honestly am really impressed with how quick it dries really? too uh, yeah. like yeah oh i thought you were saying something about me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just she's like you, you just, just stop heard. yeah just i'm oh. really impressed just what? stop it impressed <laughs> oh you don't say i'm impressed with you too joey no. that's what you wanted to hear okay right? okay what's next can, what's can we see it's, it, we're moving into a next step can you show me kind sure. of Wow, okay, so oh, it does look even like it's starting to dry pretty quickly. Yeah, it's pretty good. Look at that. Do wow, hey, I'm we love to see I'm, it. you know, why I'm not impressed because I never doubted that you had You're a liar. the ability. This is just standard Joey stuff right here. I'm not impressed at all. Do something I didn't think you could do, and I'll be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Such a supportive team you have here. Like, <laughs> it's like so is it, backhandedly mean, but also um, nice. Actually, I was going to keep going on the Mothman. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you're down with that. No, it's no, no, no. no. Totally I'm okay. following your it was, lead. You're the teacher. Uh, probably, no. Probably <laughs> <not here. laughs> you want to shake this one off? 
Um, oh, are we going? Such a fan of yes, absolutely. This one's Car- Carmine Dragon. Sounds like a mob boss dragon. I was going to say mob boss Carmi- all the Carmine. way. Carmine. Yeah. Hey, it's Carmine. Tell him to get across the bridge. Yeah. What are you talking about? Can you show us the like the grid so we can see like the shadow, like the the square that's on the front? The, the grid. Can, yeah, remember Rosa pointed out like the shadows, the highlights, and the like the low lights on the front of the bottle. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I just sure. curious, just so we can kind of see how that looks. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna show him the grid. Here. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> calm down, Peter Parker. Carmine Dragon, right here. And this is gonna be for the eyes. What is this gonna or be what are you for? Gonna go for? This is for the eyes. Okay. Um, I noticed, you know, because you know when you're priming, it's it's okay to kind of get mm, a little crazy with we're it. We're repainting the eyes, right? And yeah, so we're, we're gonna touch up the eyes. Do we use the, a smaller brush for this? You absolutely can. You can continue with the multi-purpose if you wish, but. What do you think is best? Your it's preference. a small, it's a small square footage here that we were working with. Okay. So I w- will jump down to the. We have the fine detail. It's a three O brush, so it's we're talking only a few hairs there. Okay. It's pretty wee, and um, this, if you want, I honestly I should have mentioned this before. I like to soak the brush hairs themselves in water before I go around dipping okay. it in paint, and it just kind of, you know. It gets the brush. What are flexible. brushes made out of? Hopefully not anything. I don't know. I honestly don't know. You don't know. I, are this, used to are be the horse actual hair hairs? Uh, horse tail. <laughs> I mean, like the professional brushes. Yeah, that's still horse hair for sure. Okay. But there's we mostly sell synthetic. So right. Yeah. But these here, if you want to pick first. up a little on your brush, I'm, there. I'm following your lead. Okay, like that. Well done. All right. All right. And now here we go. Thanks. I'm going back now. I'm good with this. And then there's no rush. Take your time with it. I got it. I Just got go it. over the eyeball. Look at Joe. Look at Joe's game face. Look how attention he's paying. Look how, how much attention he's paying. <laughs> look how it. Look how paying attention. Oh, <laughs> uh, is this the? These are synthetic brushes. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Dungeons and Dragons prismatic paint brushes. What they're using. I'll put a link yeah, that's a again. that's a fantastic price for that set. Those look really those those look professional. I'm gonna um, get. I'm I'm planning on getting my starter set soon. Awesome. Ooh, somebody asked about <laughs> adding more paint related stock. That's a good question. What's we that? actually have. We I mean we're always restocking the paint because I'm always buying all of it. Um, but we've we keep adding new things. So our Gale First Nine. Uh, actually, I have some of it here. We have some like a line of like foliage and basing and stuff. This is. Uh, you can show the top down there. Yeah. yeah, there we go. There you go. Oh no, I'm bad at this part. There you go, right there. Oh. Perfect. This is our summer foliage that Gil First Nine has, but we're always adding to the stock. And as looks as like oregano. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. It basically could be, but yeah, no, it's, it, we're always adding to it and we just got a whole bunch of basing kits in. I love them so much. They look so real when you get them on the mini and really? it's, I love basing as, as much. This as is I'm a brush it. you're talking about. This is, this is this stuff. Oh yeah. This is painting related. It's painting adjacent. So, but we're always adding to that. I think. I don't know. I don't want to say anything for certain, but the Vallejo paints, we have a few of them. But I hope we get to add more because I love their paint too. I just love everybody's paint. I'll never be sad about adding to our stock. So. Well, not much to show you from top down here. The Joey's really, Joey's doing exactly what Rosa was mentioning is don't get all hunched in. You're going to fatigue your body. All right, so now this I is feel great. We do commentary. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Joey is mm-hmm. and looking close, just over the rims of his glasses, mm. to ensure that the reflection honestly, and like curvature I should be of here, like. the lens does not get in, uh, <laughs> interfere with the detail he sees through his real eyes. And have you noticed oh, Rosa's yeah. brush hasn't made one slight bend? She's got such a precision angle on her on her brush that it's just exactly where she wants it. Joey, on the other hand, has his mini completely upside down. And he might as well be saying "goo goo gaga." <laughs> oh my goodness! We How's should, it coming there? We should point out that one thing that most people are wondering is how do you keep a steady hand while painting like this? Now, I don't have the answers to that. Do you? 
Uh, yeah. Lack of sleep uh, is what it seems. At least that's what... Gugu Agaga. That's what, it, <laughs> that's what my child tends to, tends to do, and, and she's got the steadiest hands of all. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, do you have any tips for steadying your hands while playing, painting? I mean, Steady hands, Rosa. You have Rosa. tips for... Or studying your hands. Oh, gosh. Studying hands. Oh, boy. That's a good question. Um, try to avoid coffee before you paint. I don't follow that one. Um, <laughs> but we have, like, I want to say... I know a lot of hobby shops sell them. They're, there's little handles that you can attach to, um, like, these that we have here. I don't know that Citadel makes them specifically... But I know a lot of yeah. other companies have, like, there's a stand that can attach to it that your harm can kind of rest wow. on. Let's see. Oh, that looks, yeah. those eyes look great, Joey. Thank you. Do you oh. have to have good eyesight to paint? Oh, my God. No. I've, uh, I have a couple of four eyes over here. <laughs> yeah, I see eight eyes over <laughs> Make there. Make it eight eyes. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm probably going to need bifocals soon or something. I have to take off my glasses to get a good paint. And so I'm kind of just freewheeling over here just hoping for the best because it's you like know, I think I'm getting it but I don't know but yeah no you don't if you can hold it up to your face or far away I don't know like what works best for you but how does yours look so much better than mine <laughs> let's see how did you do that well, he Not hers true. looks more bright uh, like, a little wow. bit more centered sure. obviously roses is the one without that oh, uh, it, oh. grip oh yeah her eyes look very nice Oops. oh wow he sabotaged sorry, it <laughs> And then here's Joey's. Joey's painted his eyes. Oh, it's a little there. backwards for him, so he's trying to find his focal point. It looks like you just need a little bit of another coat. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, try again, that's all. Well, something that I was going to yeah. say is, do y'all remember great. in Toy Story 2 when Woody gets taken by mm. Al, Al's... Weird Al. What, Not Weird Al. Al's toy yeah, barn. Weird Al. <laughs> and he gets taken, and he's with Jesse and, and everything. And the cleaner, he comes in with his, like... 15 like lens zoomer and yeah. he doesn't have good eyesight but that's like yeah. one of the best he's got really shaky hands. oh yeah that's, but that's a fantastic uh scene there we go that looks better i'm gonna try something out you keep painting, painting i'm exactly. just gonna mess with something really quick she's got the secrets we should oh sell, we should sell reading glasses oh yeah a reading we'll, we'll call them glasses <laughs> glasses <laughs> glasses glasses two z's uh, what's the pink that's coming out here? Excuse me? Uh, Rosa's getting, oh, some, oh, yeah, Rosa's getting some, like, bubble yeah. gum. She's yeah. trying something, she says. Yeah, I'm because painting is mostly just experimenting, honestly. Like, it's do whatever comes to mind. I, I've stumbled upon so many neat tips and tricks just by being like, does this, could this work? And then just taking a running leap at it. So I was thinking of highlighting Mothman's eyes, but I wasn't sure if I should do that with a dry brush or with a separate layer. And so I'm thinning out some of this pink to try yeah. that. Better, right? Yeah, that looks much better. Fantastic. Wow, Joey, you are really in, really in there. Right there, right there. Looks great. Uh, we are looking into that. So someone's asking if we sell that uh, little mini grip that you oh, that, that Joey I've has do we, yes. sell, do we sell do we sell mini holder we absolutely do Spencer's we looking do. for it right do. now they're Citadel it's Citadel we have that what, version what's it officially <laughs> called do, can you Joey can you ask what, what's, this guy. what's it what's it called what's it called I think it's yeah. just called a, a mini holder a pretty straightforward name oh yeah look the, oh that's the one that Rosa this has right there this is the XL yep. mini mm -hmm. holder it is absolutely massive it's for your giant minis with the giant bases Mothman loves bubble gum. That's right. And it stretches way out. Oh, yeah. That thing is awesome. Everybody knows. But, yeah, it's... I love it. I love it so much. That's for the mm -hmm. chonkies. Nice. My faves. So you're going to highlight with pink? I wasn't sure if I was going to or not. I'm. It's one of those things where I'm like, oh, am I selling it? Am I? Is it capturing what I'm hoping to go with? And kind of maybe. Eh. That's what I'm rolling with. So if you want, I took some of this fulgrim pink. Uh -huh. Bend it out with a little bit of water, oh, slapped some good. on my hand, and oh. because that's also a valid palette, <laughs> you can just take some like that. This doesn't have to be a lot. You don't want to saturate the brush with it. And then I just kind of went up to the eyes, kind of picked like where I think the light might be coming from when I'm done with it. It's very hard to see, but I promise that the effect is like magnified once it's done. So you just kind of just lightly go over the tops of his eyes mm -hmm. and it kind of gives it a bit of dimension. Okay. So, yeah, 
Doesn't have to be a lot. So it's like here, it's kind of hard to see. It's so right, so I So I go, okay. So mm -hmm. I grab this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just so my gosh. So I, I dip it in here. We're walking it on the wild side today. But yeah, it's like if you just want to slap some paint down on your hand, you might find some better in there. It's a little bit chunky. That. It's getting old. Okay, and I put it on my hand? Yeah, that's what I went with. And I just grabbed some water on the brush. Okay, no, and then what? Headphones. And then you load up here, uh, mm -hmm. and then go over it, thin it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And because it's more of a, oh gosh, is it a wash? Right. Yeah, I okay, would call so it a wash. What's the technique here? Mm-hmm. You just want to go over the eyes, just very light. Like this? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. And if you don't like how it's pooling on the mini, I just honestly, I take my finger and just do it. I added highlights. Look at this. Uh, let's see. He's Lower. highlighting some eyeballs. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that looks great, Joey. That actually pretty. That looks, that's that looks crazy, right? I'd put a little bit of white there for like the glint, like an anime glint. That's what glint. we're doing. Oh, okay. How much y'all think I make from Etsy? $2. A year? Probably about 75 bucks. <laughs> Startup cost? 2000 two thousand probably. <laughs> to get all your all your materials and everything. You'll go you'll get in the you'll get in the black in a couple of years. Are you adding more pink? This is so I decided I didn't like how much highlight I had on his oh. eyeball. So I took that Carmine Mafia Mob Boss Dragon red and, and over it. Yeah, I just took it put it on my brush and then just kind of went back over the areas that I wanted to no, you didn't like make oh, yeah, red again. So it's what are mistakes really like it's it's totally okay you sure. can you can repair it oh this is it it's salvageable here comes joey oh, here goes mm -hmm. what? now what you've just heard is that if you do make a mistake you can repair it simply by painting over it now spencer oh. that's unprecedented in my opinion because up until just now i'd never heard of anybody that's done that imagine <coughs> I did too much pink on the right eye or on the left of eye. Of painting over a mistake? I think that's I've never great. heard of that. That's correct. It was under my interpretation that once you've done paint, you can't go back. You can't unpaint is what you're saying. Correct. Well, the, the trick is you do not unpaint. You paint over the mistake. So let's say, hypothetically, I paint okay. over my mistake and it so is also now? a mistake. So Do I continue painting over the mistake? Actually, I'm going to grab. At that point, you give it to Rosa. We may take this Along opportunity with a, to pivot. Along uh, with Benjamin mm -hmm. and say, fix, please. Pivot to the UFO. Ooh, UFO time. Oh, you were transitioning to the yeah, I'm at a little, UFO. I'm going to re-add my... Um, let's, the hashtag is, let's UFO. What does that mean? Like, let's go? Yeah, like, let's go. Like, let's UFO. Let's UFO. So we got the metallic set here. What are we going for yes. here? This is a metallic set. Um, you get a brush, a bonus brush. This is the, um, honestly, this is a great brush. It's the uh, Army Painter's one. base coating brush. So it's mm -hmm. your standard, very multi-purpose, run-of-the-mill type brush. You can do a lot with it. Um, and so you get that in there for free. So that's fun. But I was going to say, if we go over to our UFO, honestly, this is my first time using their Metallics 2.0. I am very excited. And I am totally okay doing this live. There was actually an original version, and they retired that one. What's the diff? They, what, what? <laughs> What's, What's the, the diff? diff? The What's diff? the diff, I mean, diff? honestly... I think it was just the options. Like I think it was they added in. I feel like Aztec gold might be new. I don't know. They added different colors. Okay, I see. They had like I thought they were like a better formula or something like that. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I think they just added a few new ones there. And gosh, I've been wanting to try them, but we have a input from a inside scoop. 2.0 dries faster and don't reactivate. God. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, so you can't paint over that mistake. Well, yes. You don't always wait for me though. Here's another insight. There's a two in the name, which makes it better automatically. Yeah, obviously. That's always true. Exactly. If there was a Joey 1.0 and a Joey 2.0, I'd be like, yeah, 2.0 all day. 
<laughs> What's the difference? I don't know. But you know, people like I like the original better. That's yeah. yeah, that's true. There's a there's a thing though. You can't you can't duplicate Joey. Yeah, for sure. All right. So I got some polished silver. Let's go. Oh, that's right, Josh. Those are fully dried UFOs that's right there. UFO. And I've I've used the polished silver like the basic metallic mm-hmm. that Army Painter has, but I've never done the no speed ads, paint right. version of it. They have silvers and golds in their mm-hmm. their base um, sets and stuff. But this is my first time trying the 2.0, so we'll see. But I assume we're, you want a silver UFO? <laughs> Do you want something crazy like Aztec gold? No, so the silver UFO is perfect. Uh, I, want, I like classic UFO. All right, for sure. classic UFO. So that one's here, and I'm actually not going to put any medium in it. No? Okay. It's a tendency for metallics. Which brush do I use? This one? Yep, yeah, you're good. Okay. I just What's in store for the jumped party over next to week? Army Painter's other okay. version. Cool. Actually, this is a really great demonstration of oh. like the difference in paint brushes. Uh-huh. So what I've done is on this side of the mini, I don't know if it's easy to tell on camera or not, but on this side of the mini, I use just a regular base coating brush, and I'm... I picked a direction in which I wanted to paint. So I've been doing this, like drawing it out this way. And it may be hard to see on camera, but closer to my eyeballs, it definitely looks like it's, it's a little bit streakier. Yeah. And, um, and that's okay. Like it's nothing wrong with that. It just means I'll probably want to go over it with a second layer for sure, just to make sure it looks even. But on this side, I painted with this long shader and this is just, a brush that I have lying around at home. It was just an old brush. If anyone's ever taken art classes and you got leftover art supplies, this is what you can use it for. Like this is a great time to experiment with that. So I loaded up silver <coughs> on the brush, this giant brush, and then did this side with it. So I'll turn it. And so I painted this with this and it looks a lot smoother. Honestly, like <coughs> with the bigger brush, you can definitely tell it's like <coughs> more smooth. Yeah, it looks way better with the bigger brush. So four yeah, it's like you can kind of short. see the difference, streaky here, <gasps> and then a little bit <laughs> wild. Four there. Four thumb shirt for four for fifty. Oh, we're four so close. Short. Yeah, let's go. I, I could. I'll, I'll log on That's and like the video of my, for myself. We have a question here. Mm-hmm. Were those minis primed, or are you applying directly on them? We primed them. We did prime them. We. Well, I primed this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we? <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. She primed the moth. Which one did she prime? She primed the moth. I did prime the moth. Moth main. Yeah, we watched Joey prime that UFO. Yeah, Just come on, dude. Feels like yesterday. Now, Spencer, it uh, looks like they're painting. Feels like yesterday. It looks like they're painting a UFO, but the UFO was silver before they started painting. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure what's happening. How do you feel about it? It's silver. Yeah. Everything looks kind of the same. Awesome. I would have gone if I were, you know, if I was in Joey's position, I would have gone with maybe a blue, <coughs> a blue UFO, and you know, said a blue FO. Um, a blue FO. That's correct. And at least no. you would know. Hey, I'm making some progress here. And it would be a game nerd's. You could tell. UFO. You can tell. Look, watch. Give me a shot here. That's silver. Ooh. Yeah, can't everybody tell, huh? <laughs> That's okay. silver. Uh-huh. That's gray. You can see it. Oh, I do see the difference. Okay, yes. now I can see it. Talking all that noise. I take back all <laughs> the noise I spoke. I will stop noising. How come now, Joey? How come Rosa took her mutant housing unit off and you didn't? Hers fell off. I don't know how to get this one off. Oh. Oh, I just because it went, seems like she's got. She has to be it. less careful than you. Honestly, I did it accidentally. Full disclosure. Yeah. So it was a happy how accident. That, how am I going to get that off? Well, have you painted the little guy down here? If you want, you can hold on to him. I'm going to do Power World bootleg merch on my Etsy. <laughs> yeah, paint by Joey. Power World bootleg. I did see some cool Power World like, like crochet stuff on Etsy, and I want it really bad. You could name it Joey Wor- Joey's World. Paint by Joey, Joey's World edition. <gasps> you could be like this. Did he do something? Why did he gasp? I grabbed the wrong... I accidentally touched black. <gasps> Where? Where did you paint black on? <laughs> How did I do that? I was looking at y'all. Wait, this is a perfect example. Ask Rosa what you can do. Rosa, what do I do? Looks like you already painted over What's it. Up? What happened? I accidentally touched black and got black on my That's UFO. That's okay. That's all right. Everyone calm I've down. You might cry. It's clumping. Shadowing. <laughs> yeah, it's see. shadowing. Someone it's said okay. shadowing. It's all right. 
depending on where it lands, you can kind of get away with it and be like, ha ha, that's, uh, yeah. That's where the ship took some damage. That's Battle okay. damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> so, depending on how much got dropped on there. It looked like a lot. Already. <laughs> it's okay. We can definitely. To be honest, I don't know what he was painting there anyway. Salvage. It looked like it was pretty good. If you have, if it hasn't dried yet, you can grab some water and hmm. try to maneuver it off with your brush or like pick it up with the brush. Uh -huh. That's that's another handy thing. It's like you can like drop the brush onto it and it oh. sucks up into it. Or you can wait for it to dry and then you can go over again with silver. You run the risk of it showing up as a little bit bumpy, you know, uneven. But depending on how much oh fell in there. Yeah, it's okay. There's ways to fix it. it. There's like paint remover and stuff like that. That's like many streams down the line. To, yeah, <laughs> but it's UFO it's okay. exhaust. All right, I'll go back over it. So yeah, if you want to let that dry, it's really not bad. We can let it dry okay. and paint back sure. over it. It's okay. I need to get this little edge right here. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like the Jetsons. It has to make that sound where it's like. Beep, 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 it's beep, silver. Beep. It's silver, and honestly, that looks great. That carbon scoring content or that. Someone Let's dropped in the chat there. That was a great suggestion. Like you Let's can it. make it look that? like what anything. So okay. like on spaceships and stuff, us. when it's been uh, like hit by like oh, yeah. blasts or like it bumps into like <laughs> meteors <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. You could do so much exactly. stuff. Like I don't that. know if I'm good enough yet to do that. I, I'm I can be try. Happy there. It does look like a ring pop. Don't you kind of want to? I don't want to eat it. It's totally. What do we do next? Well, I was gonna say we could let this guy dry. Okay. And this Gumdrops. is why I love having multiple minis on rotation. It gives mm -hmm. you a chance to, I need a you know, while one dries, you can work on another. Hit a couple spots I missed. Okay. Um, we're going to pivot back to Game Mothman nerds. now. All right, Mothman. We love to see it. Um, it's the okay. fumes. So <laughs> yeah, Spencer's, at this Spencer's stage, if there's anything you want to correct while you're in it, you know, go for it. But otherwise, we can jump onto the highlighting that Let's you wanted do it. to do. I'm ready for the highlights. Okay. So... It's a little tricky because we have we need to use limited this? space to work with. But That's yeah, we're going to pull out the dry brush here. Okay. And it's this, with three Z's. this <laughs> like a uh, <this coughs> square. Honestly, there are some that are called cat's tongue dry brushes because they're shaped. They're like rounded. Lem. But um, yeah, I'm Lem. Lem. Buy it at GameNerds.com. And uh, so we're going to do dry brushing with this, okay. as the name suggests. Dry brushing is one of my favorite things in the world because it's like getting a fantastic result while doing minimal work. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, it's so okay. nice. I'm, so I'm all ears. This is specifically, it's a dry paint that uh, Citadel makes. It's called Rack White. And uh, it's formulated as like super thick. Like it's, you could look in there. It's chunky. Ew, that looks gross. Show them. Oh, um, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it looks like doo-doo. <laughs> now granted, mine's a little old. Don't make like fun, but it's still functional as a paint. So okay. we're, we're down, but not out. Fair enough. You know so you do. load up your brush, but <laughs> they're just talking. Oddly, you're, yeah, you're going to actually, you're going to load it up, later. but then you're going to wipe like 90% like of it is off. Is that too much? Over them right That's now. a ton, which <laughs> is okay. Too much? No, tell me if it's too much. <laughs> it's okay. All right, I'll start. <laughs> oh, God, it's supposed to be dry. Yes. We need a silhouette of our heads. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you got to stop telling me it's okay. You got to tell me the right thing. It is Okay. What would Bob Ross do? He'd be like, it's That's okay. dry, right? Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing to your fingers? It's, it's fine. It's not so much. There we go. Okay. Well done. So, when you say load up your brush, so I, go, I went. He's like, oh, I'm I like scooped shovel. it. Yeah, scoop it like you're trying <laughs> to get the earwax pickle. out. Oh my gosh. So yeah, just about like, like that? that. Yeah. Okay. Basically more than you would okay. just painting a layer. And then you're going to wipe most of it off. All right. Which sounds backwards, it, but... Like that? Mm hmm And I like to test it. It may be hard to see because I'm... My I'm Should it look like this? Chronically anemic. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what you want it to look like. Okay. How does it look, Joey? Like this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a little... Okay. So it's, it's enough that something is still coming off the brush, but it's not streaking, it's not sure. saturating. Then you come over to your mini, and this dry brush technique works the best when you have texture of some nature mm -hmm. on your mini so like the mothman has these has this fur right on its back on its legs and on its face and chest a little bit so this is for like highlighting okay. and and lightening up 
the topmost spaces of a mini. And what you want to do is run perpendicular or opposite. Perpendicular wouldn't be right. But yeah, that orthogonal got in my head from earlier. So, but <laughs> <laughs> you want to run opposite to the direction of that texture. Okay. So, so we're going to go up? Yeah. Okay. So you want to go up with it. Oh, okay. And just little short bursts. Uh. And if Joey's you don't, if you think you have too much paint, you can wipe that it off looks again. pretty good to me. He said it looks pretty good to him. That's cool. He said that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. He said it again. All right. And if you feel like you're running out of paint, you can just do the same thing. Grab some, wipe most of it off. Start over. <laughs> that's exactly it. That's exactly why these things are amazing. It dries, and literally, as you fidget, pop it, it bursts and you get like a little tiny well of paint that's dry and and you can chew again. on it it is truly life-saving because i'm terrible about washing my trays and it works great for lead based paint oh. oh yeah if you have lead based paint you really need like something to like cheat for, for the that afternoon dangerous. <laughs> you make a couple yeah, they make like a half a dozen of those and put them in a ziploc and take them to work with you just as best as base paint Joey, uh, move a little bit to the center. I'd love to see what you're doing. Here you go. I have to look close, though. Hey, it's fine. It's really out of focus anyway. It's probably fine. I'm doing highlights, dude. You are doing highlights. You're doing highlights? Yeah. Did you already do the low lights? Look at this. Let's see. Whoa, mama. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That wow. looks crazy. Are y'all impressed? I am. Would you have known to do any of this before? Nope. Or did you have any idea? You had no idea how to do no anything. Idea. On the head, too? Yeah, wherever. wherever honestly, I, I see this. Like, where do you think the easy. light's going to hit? Hers looks better. No. <laughs> oh, let's see. I do. You have to sign a waiver to come oh. into this gamer studio. I thought it was just the Lots fur. You can do any of it. Truly, it's. Put I just like to hit finner toy. the surfaces. <laughs> and that kind yeah, of that gives you yeah. auto highlights. Zing. And if you don't like something, you Whoa, can just look go at back Rose's over technique. It. Hold on. Let's see if she'll do it again. Look how fast. Oh, wow. she is fast. She has not a care oh, in the world. Oh. We had. Well, thanks, Board Game oh, Bree and Neo yeah. Nut and Arca Dr Ar Aka Reject. Thank you so much for uh, following us on Twitch. But. It's still showing? No? Yeah, there you go. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that for the rest of the that time. That looks crazy, dude. Yeah, look how fast Rosa is able to do this. She's using a dry paint in case anyone's just tuning in, and that's adding some uh, highlights that's to the surface. That looks great. Absolutely. Y'all, look Let's at this. See it. Let's see it. <coughs> wow. Oh, dude, wow. How'd you do that? Hold on. There we go. Rosa taught me how. That <laughs> is awesome. So a primer, a base coat of black, and then you hit the, hit it with some highlights. Yeah. Did a little bit of the red for the eyes and hit it with some highlights of pink. Dude, this is like a not, and the paint dries so fast. You're able to knock this out pretty quick. I am so freaking stoked about this. Y'all don't even know. I am so proud of you. You've done really well. I can do this. This oh, is awesome. Right. It's great to see Joey Show him some uh, come into a new version of himself and find something He's just so proud of. Yet again, I think his door, the doorway is going to be too small, too narrow for the size oh. of his head after all of this. He's going to feel like he is just so good at everything he does. He won the game earlier. He's True. crushing it at this painting I'm the for champion. the first time. Don't yeah, he's forget gonna, I'm the he's champion. stuck in this room for life. All right. Don't forget I'm the champion. I actually learned a bit from this show. There you go. I loved it. Uh, so I'm many, so stoked. Let me see yours. You're <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> well, yours thank is you. so much better. Let's see. Yeah, Joey, can you help us compare them? Oh, hers is so much better. Can you compare no. them, Joey? I think I was too. I think what happened is I was too scared to put too much. Okay, hers is insane. Okay, so that's hers. Well, to be honest, they look very similar. That's so good. She has like her highlights are more pronounced, for sure. Okay. I mean, you started this morning, and that's. I mean, that's amazing. And then let's what see yours now. Here, so mine has less because I was too scared to put too much. It's okay. They look pretty close. He was drawn to the light, so he's got lots of highlights. Oh, that looks great. That's so sick. Yours is so good. So the reason we more. did this... Yeah, Joey, I think yours is better. Shut up. The reason we did this was because we want the purple to uh -oh. show up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The purple. We've all seen Sleeping Gods. Boring. 
Have you ever considered a sleeping nerds? <laughs> sleeping nerds. Yeah. Sleeping nerds. And we can actually get all of us printed into the game mm -hmm. and the Fantastic Voyage. It could be like a spaceship. We could be sleeping nerds in space. Yeah. I just really want these ribs to show up more. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is insane. Like, your highlights are so good. That's very kind of you to say. I mean, but Rose I gotta is not say, painting. You she's just started, here. and that looks amazing. Like, I'm, I'm so proud. Thank you. You've done really well. I am so pleased. I am pleased. <laughs> and that's the benefit, you know, of, of speed paints. It lets you like get a really cool Actually, result quickly. Service. So it just takes a, you know, yeah. tips and tricks, and you get something <laughs> right. awesome out of it. Okay. <laughs> So what are we doing next? We're totally okay, so the purple that show. I accidentally dumped out yeah. here. Me too. Yeah, um, this one? <laughs> this one. Like three years ago? Uh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Three years ago. Then we can have Joey painting mini Joey. Yeah. If we oh, yeah, yeah. We need a mini Joey. <laughs> Joey minis. And now I'll paint his shirt black. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know why I wear, oh, like, just plain black tees? Because I used to wear just regular shirts, and then, like, every day I wore one, like, Spencer or something would be like, you know you can't wear graphic tees on stream. And I was just like, or on streams or in videos. And I was like, you know what? I'm just always going to be ready. Mm -hmm. So I just bought like a pack of Gildan Soft Style tees from Amazon, like a few packs, and I just wear the black shirt so I'm always ready to be on camera. Classic. Yeah. What a showman. I don't normally just dress like this, like a Chili's waiter or something. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what you don't know is that he's got that like waist apron down to yeah. his, cat, down to his like, ankles. <laughs> I was like, I'm tired of people like getting on to me for wearing shirts. So I'm just wearing plain black tees from now on. That's why I wear the plain black tee. Uh. Oh, yeah. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Sir, this is a Chili's. <laughs> this, is a chi this is a Wendy's. You know what's really good at Chili's? You get the chips, right? Game Nerds t-shirts are needed. But you ask for a yeah, I thing agree. of ranch yeah. and you dip the chips in ranch. Absolutely. Good game nerd shirts. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Chili's. <laughs> Chili's. Chili's. That's one of the locations in, in uh, Sleeping Nerds. You guys we are all funny. take a trip to oh Chili's. <laughs> all right. So all right, do you wanted your guy to be purple or oh, like yeah, have some yeah. purple? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do I do? The same thing with the dry brush? So nice. the multi-purpose brush that you have? Yes, this one. <laughs> yeah, he's always on call. Okay. As soon as and someone drops if you shift, only want it to in. be like that explains it's why the highlights, it's catching purple. It's just like the just like the the fur, mm -hmm. I think. Just the fur. You can start depending on how you what can you, you can slowly build up to it depending on what you like. I've gone ahead and mixed that purple swarm. I think it's what I dumped out mm -hmm. and mixed it with some speed paint medium. Okay. And depending on your part you know, parts per like medium against paint and how thin it is, you can produce like different results, shade, wash, uh, glaze. But what I'm going to do is I really want to see like how this is. So I'm going to take like one of the biggest spots that I've highlighted, which is he's got like this midline yeah, ridge or something. And uh, so I'll take the brush and just on the edge, I'm going to run the edge along it. Okay. Let's see. I, have too, I feel like I have too much, but maybe not. Oh, I see. What are y'all giggling about? So it's like, okay, yeah, purple showed up there. That's, we're not sad about it. So if the light were to catch it and it looks purple. Did I do too much? No, that looks great. Okay. So if you want just those parts... So to just like, like the f like highlights on the fur. Mm -hmm. you know if you just I mean? want to stick with that, because I'm team dry brush. Oh, so I want to do dry. I think dry brush sounds better. My, I'm till I die. I believe you can dry brush with just about yeah. any paint. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I get that like that feeling for sure. I'm a believer. Oh, plain black t-shirts with a game nerd's logo inside. 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 What like was, a did say, What did somebody say? You could, what, what did y'all say? It's like Superman. He rips off the shirt in times of crisis. Under, under is a black shirt, and the apron falls down as he takes off his glasses. <laughs> and no one recognizes him until that. Right. You guys are amazing. I'm gonna do something really quick to see if it even works because I'm afraid. I'm scared. Oh, I would. I am absolutely going to paint some. That's been the okay. plan. As it I want to learn. All right. <laughs> Just I a little checking. Are you going to paint your own minis, by the way? Yeah, yeah, are, absolutely. Like, for sure? That was why I wanted to, to learn, honestly. You taking my job? So, 
No, 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 oh, no. Oh, okay, no. no. You're, you're so good. You're no, I'm wonderful. kidding, I'm kidding. We're, we're wonderful at this. So if, I took my dry brush and I loaded some of the purple onto it, still mixed with some medium, and I'm going to run off most of it onto the paper towel. Like I said, I mostly want to learn because like action figures. I really like action figures. And want to Same paint concept. Some. The goal is for it. the purple predominantly will show up on all of those spots that you've Oh, that's cool. Highlighted, yeah. I love it. That way it's like you can tell, yeah, he's predominantly purple, but it's not. Why are y'all goofing over there? They are. They're over there giggling like some kids. <laughs> High schoolers. What's funny? I want to laugh. I want to know. <laughs> I like jokes. <laughs> I want to laugh. I like fun. Spread joy. Love inside jokes. Let's be part of one someday. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Let's be part of one and the butt of one. I feel like I'm the butt of one right now. No, no. that's why. That's why it's funny. <laughs> it's about you. That's me. I told you. You win one game. You learn how to paint minis, and all of a sudden, everything's about you. <laughs> You know what? This doesn't look as good as I thought it was going. Uh oh. <laughs> well, oh, let me see how yours looks. That's all right. Looks. No, it's fine. If oh, you, right. yours looks better. If you don't like how it's going, flan. you can always go flan. back over it and start over. That's like a okay. chibi. It makes for flan, a longer stream, flan. but it's doable. No, we're not gonna do that. But let's see it. Let's see. It's let, okay. Joey, show us. Okay. I thought the black and purple would look sick. And they're not looks, super satisfied. It with doesn't it. look as cool as the the whites. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Honestly. Like, I think if see. you just did the whole thing in that color, that'd That's be actually kind of sick and use the shadows as the black underneath. I think he could be completely purple like that. And instead of him looking purple, it's like night purple. Like It's like highlights. Yeah, I think it would look great. Nah, it sucks. Ah, come on. We read I it I think already. you need a one-year anniversary channel shirt about Aww. a drawing of a cute, happy... F that would be cute. We, I would love to... You know what? Where's our artist with the skull? I would love a flan that looks like that. Yes. Oh yeah. Where is that? If oh my gosh, that would be so. You have cool. to pay that for art. So sick. I know. <laughs> we could do that. It's called a commission for a T-shirt. Oh yeah, that's worth paying for. Spencer yawned again. Just make us proud with the colorful moth man. I'm gonna and do their, my best. Their username is not yet played. They're viewing this stream on Twitch. Um, I don't. I'm, I guess that's not their legal. Uh, that's not their their church name or nothing, but they could email me at what's the email address? Oh, you can email Spencer at uh, Spencer at gamenerds dot com. Spencer at Spencer at gamenerds dot com. You can email Spencer at the following email address: Spencer at gamenerds dot com. If you wanna, if you're yeah. interested in a commission. Oh, you know what we should do? An open submission. Ooh. And we pick the best one, and we you know, we, we make it worth their while. It's that not would just be cool. We, we don't get free art out of it, but no. we make it worth their while. Yeah, of course. That'd Twenty-five dollar game cool. there's gift card. No, I'm just kidding. Spencer, I'm just joking. Spencer spelled Parker. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it won't work. <laughs> the message will get relayed, <laughs> but if you want to, you know, Spencer. <laughs> Everything's with a Z. Let me see we, yours. Because we make this joke yeah, about everything within the Z, so it's great that it's not just us. <laughs> it's a common thing. Dang, this looked like perfect with the white highlights, and now I see I think it, it looks I'm great so glad with you purple. With that. With I'm, I'm just touching these things back up. I'm really glad you went with this color. There's another comment. Really? Yeah. I thought the white looked better. It, you can read it, them, but it's cooler. You go back over Let me see what yours white. looks like. We're reading them okay, back here. so... Yours looks insane. Hey, Joey, there's a comment on the screen for you. Okay. I've never seen a bad paint job. Well, once I did, but it was so bad, I didn't know how anyone could even recreate it. The paint jobs were very, here were very good. I thought you were about to say this one was it. I it's love that it's, I've never seen a bad paint job. Well, well was that once one. I did. <laughs> Instead of just backspacing, you're just like, I'm, I'm this deep. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I love that. I love our viewers. I do too. Y'all are awesome. Uh huh. Very casual. Yeah. You know, sometimes we we I personally I'll pop up into some other streams and stuff, and I gotta say, there's some there's a different flavor in this in this chat. You know what I'm saying? I like so it. It's like, what's your favorite flavor? Mm, I'm partial to game nerds chat. Yeah. Flavor. Exactly. Not too sweet. Not too sour. A little right. spicy. This is looking better now that I'm committing to it. I didn't like it at first. There you go. There Let's you see, go. That's what, I'm That's what about. it's about. Thank you. Drop off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Ichiban? Ichiban, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Drive safe. We'll see you next week yeah, for the biggest Ichiban means celebration. the best. 
Flavor of the month. Chat. <laughs> super, super <joy>. <laughs> <laughs> How's it coming, Joey? Show me. All right, hold on. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Oh, we have a, a real question here. Oh, okay. Here uh, we go. Here's an actual really question. serious question yeah. on screen. If you get to the highlight stage and accidentally make it too light, are you able to go back and deepen the shadows, or is it better to just Look start at that. Over? That actually Joey. looks sick. <laughs> Rose? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. It's all right. Hi, yeah, we're really excited here. That's a really good question. Um, if you get to the highlight stage and make it too light, you have to go back and deepen the shots. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I did it just now. And I was like, How do you eh, do that? Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. And I just went over with whatever the original color was. And I just went over it with that. Depending on how thick or thin that cover is, you can actually tone down that highlight without erasing it completely. You don't have to start over. And just honestly, a lot of the control comes from like how saturated your wash is. Like if you you know, proportions of water to paint or medium to paint. So yeah, you, you don't have to start over unless you're just like, hey, no, you know, this is the worst thing I've ever seen or whatever. But no, I say give it a chance. There's a million ways to go about it. See, like, that's beautiful. It's okay. It's gorgeous. I wish I would have left it white, but it looks pretty No good. way. Show Do us, show us one more time. Show us one more time. I think that, honestly, that looks insane. That's great, I dude. love that. You really don't. You thought it looked better white? Yeah, I think so. I feel like I. Chat, what did you like better? Did you like it with just the highlights? I think that looks insane. I love that. I'd love for that to be my mini. There you go. Gamers says the purple is sick. Sweet. And then my blue Heather. Whoa, that came out so good. Mothman is looking great. Show purple, me yours. purple night oh. Mothman looks. See, that's what I'm saying. It almost oh has gosh. this nighttime glow, like moonlight Ta-da. glow, like comic book. <laughs> Because if it was just stark black, it's kind of like me. Oops, I think the purple left. was a great call. Rosa Rosa did her highlights so much better. Mm. Well, it's your first time. She's been painting for years. That's true. You're doing beautifully. This Let's isn't see. psychic okay. pizza deliverers. So, you don't just one shot this. If you want. <laughs> see, you've got really good, like. If you want shadows or if you want to deepen the shadows, yeah. you can take some of that. But put it See, on the purple is a good your call. multi-purpose He's in his brush. Head. Okay, I'm going to let this guy sit and dry for Joey, a Joey, you need to read this because this is for you. There isn't a bad way to paint, just different ways to add color to the world. Mm. Bob Ross. See, that's Absolutely. great. Absolutely. That's a great He's a, he, That's You know what? Bob Ross is full of toxic positivity. <laughs> Why is it toxic? Yeah. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Bob Ross is Blasphemy. talking crap. I keep like curling into myself and turning into a goblin. That's great. Oh my gosh. Oh, so Joey's I, need to, I need to do the around part. Too. Yeah. So oh. because Why light has a glow to it, right? Nice. Yeah. The lights are coming off. It's going to cast a glow on the underside gotcha, of the ship. Gotcha. Gotcha. If anything makes painting tough, it's honestly the, the there's color theory yeah. and then light and shadow. And I never got a formal education on either. And I probably should, <laughs> but. It just means that my approach to it just takes me a little longer to understand. It's like, okay, why does that work? Okay, why does light need to be there? Yeah, oh, okay, you know, just so like a lot of people here. will do, like they'll take the mini, take a picture Look of at it. the nodes. And then use the that picture as reference for where to put highlights and shadows. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, okay, the mm-hmm. light source was right there. That's how it's going to be for the entirety of the mini. And it's kind of like a cheat code for where to highlight and where to put shadows. I love it. I was like, why didn't I think of that? Realized I didn't like that pallid you, color, you so I light. added some white instead. Oh, okay. It How was it wasn't light enough for me, so I was like, hmm, you know what? Where We're gonna go true white here. So yeah, there's that there. If you want to grab okay, it, yeah. it's the same dry brush effect. I'm also trying not to go too crazy because I don't want to run us into the evening or anything. Right. I could personally do this all night, but I don't think any of you guys want to. So. It's okay, just leave I would, me here. You gotta kind of like. I'll just bring a sleeping bag next time, Oops. and I'll do like oh, an I forgot to all night stream. Who is? It? No. Hmm. Who is Emily Mortimer? Okay. Uh, Rosa, there's a comment on the screen. Shoot. Emily Mortimer. Ellen, who is that? I'm so bad at faces and names. That's really kind. I, I am hoping that's a compliment. <laughs> but oh gosh, who's that? I'm sure what it's a compliment. Like? We'll look it up. Yeah. It's so wild. This An is, actress. it's like, it only happens to me. I swear. <coughs> so many people in my life have oh, come up to me Pink like, Panther you look like so-and-so. Let's get crazy. One and two. Painting all night. I screwed up the, real bad. The joy of painting. That's great. No, 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 it's fine. It's okay. 
I'll show everybody approximately the well. effect I was going for. Um, so kind of hard to see against the silver, but I've done like little white halos where the lights should be okay. and surrounded the area with white so that when I go over it with hmm. some paint, it should pop and look like the area is glowing. Ooh, this is a tough one. Not sure which one I should use. Oh, so we're gonna do the the shiny the the light from the green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really pushing those. So we have tesseract glow. Ooh. The okay. prettiest. Oh. Oops. That's okay. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Ooh. Thing there. That so. looks cool. Look but at we these. Put, we put the white down <coughs> so that the yellow would show up because mm -hmm. otherwise it would just be really dull and flat. I see. And it wouldn't look very good. So show us, Joey. You can refine it as needed. But oh, yeah. That already looks really cool. Hers looks way better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just terrible. I, I, messed, I, I messed up right here. Look, That's like, okay. I accidentally put, I accidentally uh, used regular white and it messed up. I see. That looks great, though. All right. So, one last thing. I promise I'm getting close to the end here for UFO. It looks like the little window mm -hmm. glows a little bit because of its green color. Oh. So I'm quickly dry brushing. With white? That white that we had with our square brush. Where's it at? I am this dry, mm -hmm. dry brushing the edge here because I'm going to go over that with a bright color too. That way it looks like the glow of the cockpit's shining out mm -hmm. into the space it's attached to. Okay. And again, like that's another one of those light shadow things. I would have not thought of that two years ago. I would have been like, mm -hmm, what? <laughs> What's light? But it's okay. It's just stuff you pick up along the way. And yeah. That's okay. That's all right. It would still look good without it. So. And now we go green. And now I'm going to go over it with, you can honestly, depending on what effect you want, you could use your layer or your dry brush. In fact, I'll try a little bit of both, see which I like better. And I do that a lot, too. I'm like, maybe I'm not sold on this. Switch it up. You could add 17 more steps if you wanted, but I don't think we have time for that today. Oh, yeah. He's more of like a Disney head. <laughs> oh. 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 Let's, let's see. So it. these are done? Yeah. There we go. And if you have glue, we could, you know, stick this down. But I think... Just, show oh us another top down. Show us uh, what the, <laughs> the progress shadows. Is. Scully, you're oh, not gonna believe this. Whoa, those are cool. Show your viewers. Yours is better. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I don't want it to fall apart. Mine was kind of loosey goosey. All right. Mine wow. was dirty, yeah. which I like. And then Mothman for the for those that didn't see Mothman. Oh Mothman. yeah. Mothman. I'm so proud of you. You did such a great job. Mothman. Dang, Joey. There you go. Yo. That looks crazy. Looks like uh, viscerai. That's character yeah, in flesh blood. There we go. Let's see. Okay, now that you mention Seek. it. Yeah, hers looks so much better. Roses oh, look that. pretty good. Yeah, Roses hers looks, looks so much better. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. She also didn't paint all over your wings. All right. She, she <laughs> that was so much fun. I know it kind of ran long, but that's painting. It's it can be like watching grass grow sometimes, or it's one of those things where you're like you're so zoomed in on it. I'm looking forward to getting some practice in on my own personal ones. So, to, to be fair, these are actually my own personal ones. These are from my copy of Tales to Tales Amaze. To Amaze yeah. yeah. That was cool. We're going to wrap it up. Yo, thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much. I need to get back in mode. I've been, like, concentrating. So, thank you, everybody, for hanging out and watching with us. It's awesome. We appreciate your support. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. We appreciate your support. Make sure you follow if you haven't yet. Make sure you subscribe, like this video on YouTube, follow on Twitch, and uh, look forward to some more. We'll be back next week. Yeah, he'll be Weekly there. Streams. Weekly streams. Weekly. Weekly. Yeah. Same bat time, same bat channel. And if I, there are actually lots of comments or questions coming here at the end. Mm -hmm. um, either, um, I guess, come back next time and ask them. Yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, we, we love we wanna, answering yeah, questions. We answer them. More questions, the better. Save them, write them down, yeah. ask them, save them for next week, ask them again, and we will answer them or do our best to do so. I let y'all finish. Bye, y'all, everybody. We love you, bunch Paper of towels, us. am I right? Yeah, <laughs> see, you next, see you next week. Adios, friends. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to win. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.